First of all, I'd like to welcome you all for this uh, engineering mechanics program. And uh, I'm Dr. Narasimha, mm, uh, working as assistant professor, mechanical engineering department. So today we are going to see about engineering mechanics subject. So in this subject, we are going to see about the repeated questions which they are asking in the university to make a keynote for you. So before doing examination, it is the best keynote for you. So what are the repeated questions asking in part A and part B? And the main motto of this program is to get success in engineering mechanics subject. The minimum points should be scored 50 points, 50 marks and maximum should be 80 marks. That is a motto of this program. And in this program, we are going to see the repeated university questions which will be asked in part A and part B so that it will guide you to or it will guide you or it will motivate you to score or update by yourself okay you should not have a fear when you are going examination for the purpose we are given this program that is the main motto and uh, i like to say a hints so what is the hints we are going to give in this program is so everything which will becomes based on the interest so first try to create an interest by yourself so once you create an interest by yourself, you will be succeed what are the topics you have selected. That is the main hints which I like to say. So interest will never come to you automatically. You have to create the interest by yourself. So once you are going to touch any type of book, first you create the interest. How you are going to deal with it? Okay, so in this, in this program, you are going to give a shortcuts and the important repeated questions and it will motivate you to be succeed in the engineering mechanics subject. Today we are going to see about the outline about this engineering mechanics. So the total we are having five units. Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are going to see one by one. So in this, the main motto of this corresponding program is what are the important repeated questions will be available. We are going to see one by one. So if we come back this unit 1, the name of the unit is statistics of particles. So in this statistics of particles, we are going to study about the major introduction and major last and Lamis theorem, Palladium's theorem, and Triangular theorem, so on, so we are going to study. And the different operations and dot vectors will be available up to the transmissibility. Just I make it short for you. So if you come back this part A and part B, so the part A which will be asked from this corresponding questions, from introduction to the corresponding vector, there will be part A, one question will be there. And from similarly, Part A and other questions. The second question will be asked from operation to the corresponding transmissibility. So in part A, there will be two questions will be there. So one question will be available from this sector, and the second question will be available in this sector. Okay. And simultaneously, if you come back this part B, 16 marks questions. So in this area, one question will be available, and in this area, one question will be available compulsory. So the choice in part B, you know about this, the choice will be available either in this area or in this area. Okay. And if you come on this unit 2, so unit 2 you are going to study about the free body diagram, how to draw the free body diagrams, generally you know that. And you are going to study about the different types of forces and different types of movement which will be occur in the corresponding body, either in terms of beam or roller, whatever it may be. And we are going to study up to the three dimension, just I make it short. So if you come back this part A, you will, you will get one question from this uh, corresponding free body diagram, force and movement. And uh, similarly, another question will be part A. So the two two mark questions will be available. In this area one and in this area one questions are available and simultaneously part b also same thing the long answer will be coming from this one question and from the three dimension one question is available compulsorily available okay so you should be strong in either in area one or area two if you are strong in any one area you can attend 16 mark points okay and the next one is a different unit three in unit three we are going to see about the properties of surface and solids so here we are going to study about the different types of sections like t sections i sections and different angular sections we are going to study. Generally, you know that. So from this, you will get one two marks, and from this, you will get one two marks compulsory. And simultaneously for the long answer, sixteen marks, you will get one from this area and one from this area. Either they will give the diagrams or they will give in terms of descriptive types. Okay, so you should be strong in both the areas. Any one areas, if you are strong, you can able to attend part A and part B questions easily. And next one is the beam. We will go. So we are going to study about the dynamics. So in this area, we are going to study about what is dynamics, what are the different types of dynamics are available, and uh, what are the parameters, important parameters like displacement, velocity, acceleration, how you are going to calculate. We have different formulas, huge amount of formulas are available in this dynamics. So even you are studying in grade 11 and grade 12, you are studying this dynamics. The same thing which you are going to be applied here. 
and then so in this area we are going to study one question part a two more questions and so similarly from the law to the impact and impact suppose we are going to study another question that is part in part a we are going to study the two questions in this area one and area two and simultaneously long answer will also be asked from this area one and area two okay yeah. so you can start you can be strong in any one area uh, to be to succeed and next one is going to be unit five in unit five we are going to study with the friction and its rigid bodies so here so generally we are going they are going to ask some questions in this frictional force what is frictional force what are the different types of laws available as a two marks and the rolling parameter will be on two marks so the two, two marks will be available in this area one and area two and simultaneously the long answer will be available 16 marks long answer will be available in this part one and part two so these are the overall outlines so you should be strong in this area to be succeed you should be strong in this area area one or area two for long answers and if you come at this two mark points, you should be strong in all the areas. Okay, so these are the overall outline about this unit one to five. But class one in the times. So now I am going to see about unit one. What are the questions? Repeated questions they will ask you, and unit two, and unit three, and unit four, unit five. What are the repeated questions they will ask you? Now how you are going to mold it strong? So, okay. So you should before going exam, you should not have any fear, and you should be strong in. You should be strong to succeed in the exam. So now you are going to see about this unit one. Part A, what are the repeated questions asking in part A and what are the repeated questions asking in part A? Okay. So we are going to see about this. Uh, generally they will ask define transmissibility or state transmissibility or define different types of laws. Okay, or sometimes they will ask you what to find out the define. Sometimes they ask you to write language theorem. Okay, so they, sometimes they will ask you to write only in the terms of state or definition. This is a common question which is available repeatedly. And next they will give some problems to find out the unit vector. So how to find the unit vector? They will get uh, they will get the vectors in brackets. You know how to find out. And next, there is sometimes they will ask you to find out the length of the line for the corresponding vectors. Okay, the problem will be given to you, so you are going to find out the length of the line. And uh, the next question will be represented in terms of magnitude, location, direction. So we are going to find out the magnitude, location, direction for the corresponding given diagram. There will be small small diagrams, and we are going to find out that for two marks. Uh, the corresponding force will be identified by using this magnitude location direction. And next, sometimes they will ask you to find out the last, the same thing what I said to you. And the last question will be particles in space, there is no one problem. So these are the repeated two marks questions which is available always in the university. Okay. Yeah. So if you are strong in this, any one questions will be always repeated. Okay. Yeah. So each and every unit, in the unit one, in part A, you will get two questions. The repeated two questions will be available, only the diagrams will be different, and the notations will be different, the problems which will be remains same. Okay, so generally, once again, I am saying you are going to study about the different types of laws and the simple diagrams which will be given. You are going to identify the force, magnitude, direction for the corresponding diagram. And sometimes the unit vector problems will be given and the length of line problems will be given. And the last one will be particle space. Okay, if you come up this part B, we are going to identify about this. In part B, what are the, in part B, what are the questions they will ask in chapter 1 means? The, the diagram will be given in terms of beam. There are different types of beams available, any type of beams which will be given. So, for this corresponding beam, we are going to find out the magnitude, direction, resultant force. The number of force which will be acting depends upon the type of rollers, fixed or mobile, whatever may be. So, based on that, we are going to identify the magnitude, direction, resultant force. Number two will be in terms of all forces. For example, number of forces which will be given in combination, the force which will be going on from left to right or left to right to left directions. So we are going to identify the forces <coughs> and then we are going to identify the magnitude direction resultant for corresponding forces. Okay. And the third, third question will be in sense of particles. For example, we know this, the particle which will be located and from the particle, the different forces which will be acting in different directions at different angles. Okay. So the angles will be given, the force which will be given. So, so we are going to find out the magnitude direction resultant for the corresponding particle with the different forces. And the fourth will be in terms of strings, sometimes strings which will be given. And we are going to find out the same thing. So this is one. This is charge one. In this charge one, we are going to find out this. This charge one will be represented in terms of 16 marks. Okay. So this question is compulsory. Or the charge two will be in terms of cables. There will be any type of cables. In this cable, we are going to find out the tension for the corresponding cable in terms of point A or point B or point C, whatever it may be. At a particular point where they are asking, we are going to find out the tension. So we should be strong in this corresponding one or other two. So if you are strong in any one, you can you can easily score 16 marks for this corresponding part B. And if you are strong in this corresponding part A, so you get 2 into 2, totally you get 4 marks. Okay, so totally you will get 20 marks in this corresponding unit 1. So these are the repeated questions, just you make a note. 
and if you are strong in these repeated questions, you will you will score twenty points in this corresponding unit one. So now we are going to see about unit two. So in unit two, what are the party questions? What are the important party questions we are going to see one by one? The repeated questions will be in party A. So simply they will ask you what is support, what are the types of support which is available. Or sometimes they ask you to draw a sketch for the corresponding support. Uh, the next question will be in terms of they will do some uh, diagrams, simple diagrams, and they ask you to find out the magnitude and direction uh, for the uh, or couple for the corresponding uh, simple diagram. Or sometimes they will ask you to find define couple or uh, types of couples which is available. Uh, next one is the uh, difference between the couple momentum. Sometimes they will ask you to find out the difference between the couple and momentum or couple and equilibrium, couple and resultant. So sometimes it's a very hard questions. Sometimes they will ask you. Or sometimes they will ask you to they will give some simple diagrams and then they ask you to find out the result force for the corresponding beams. And uh, sometimes they give a sketch and they ask you to find out the free body diagrams. And uh, next one, the last one is again momentum. They ask you to state define momentum. And what are the types of momentum available? So, also. so these are the repeated questions which is available. And if you come up this part B, in part B 16 mark questions, we are going to see generally the assignment, the beams will be given, any type of beam will be given, and we are going to find out the result of force for the corresponding beam. Or sometimes the crane body will be given, and then you are going to find out the result of force. Or sometimes the roller body which will be given within a within a vessel or within a cavity, and then we are going to find the and then we are going to draw the free body diagram. After drawing the free body diagram, we are going to identify the magnitude or resultant or force, resultant force. The next one will be cable. The cable the different cables will be given in terms of strengths, and then we are going to find out the tension. Okay. So these questions will be repeated last. Or sometimes in that case they will give the blocks, the blocks which will be moving left or down direction, depends upon the weight. And then we are going to find out the magnitude direction for this corresponding force. Or this is these are the one category in this part A, in part B. The first part will be in terms of either beam or crane, crane or roller, or cable or block. Any one problem will be available for 16 marks. Or otherwise, the, pro, the option choice will be in terms of three dimensional problems. Okay, three dimensional problems, we will have we will get one problem. This is unit two. If you compare this unit three in part A, what are the repeated questions available? Means the word defined radius of variation. This is a repeated questions always available. And then Second question, second question should be in terms of principle, right? The principle of parallel axis theorem, or perpendicular axis, or moment of inertia, so on. So, they ask you to write the principle for two marks. Or sometimes they ask you to write the expression for the corresponding given body, given body or given uh, shapes, for the corresponding hollow sphere or whatever may be, triangle or whatever may be. Or in very rare case, they ask you to find out the difference between the moment of inertia, or moment of area, or centroid. Okay, so these are the repeated questions which is always available in all the semesters. Okay, part A in unit 3. In part B, what are the questions? Well, generally, we know about this part 3. In part B, they will ask you to find out the center. Center will be one problem you are always available. The shapes will be in terms of T shapes or I shapes or Z shapes or whatever maybe. They will give different shapes and you are going to find out the center. This problem is always compulsory available. Or sometimes, in, sometimes this problem is not available, then the problem will be coming from moment of inertia. They will give different shapes and then you are going to find out the mass moment of inertia or mass moment of inertia. Okay. Or in our case, we can say that they ask you to find derive an expression for corresponding uh, corresponding shapes. Sometimes they ask you to write it. So we are going to derive and derivation for 16 marks. Or sometimes we can say that instead of this shape, instead of shape, they will give in terms of words. They will explain everything in terms of words, and we are going to understand. Then we are going to draw the diagram, and then we are going to identify the center at moment of inertia or mass moment of inertia for the corresponding given body. For the corresponding given explanation, we are going to draw a diagram, and then we are going to explain. So these are the repeated questions in part B. In part B, you get one question from centroid or mass moment of, in, moment of inertia, or otherwise in terms of derivations, or the or there will be no the, the explanation which will be given instead of diagram, the explanation which will be given, and then you are going to draw the diagrams. So these are the repeated questions in part two and unit two and unit three. So next we are going to see about this unit four. In unit four, part A, what are the repeated questions which will be asked in part A? We are going to see. So you are going to you are going to answer two questions. For four months, 22, four months. So the first question, the repeated question is height of projectile. There will be some problems. They ask you to find out the height of projectile for the corresponding problems. The second one is define coefficient of rolling or coefficient of static friction. They will ask you. Or sometimes they will ask you to state second law, whatever may be. And sometimes they will ask you to derive an equation for work done or energy for the corresponding the dynamics chapter. And uh, the next one will be in terms of difference. Sometimes they will ask you to find in terms of difference between the linear and the what is the difference between these two parameters. And uh, dynamic equilibrium, define dynamic equilibrium, or sketch dynamic equilibrium. 
Uh, these are the repeated questions which will be asked in part A, part unit 4 in dynamics parameter, dynamics topics. And if you compare with long answer, the first question will be in terms of block, they will give any type of blocks. The block which will be such moving either left hand side or right hand side directly depends upon the load. So we are going to apply the acceleration, tension, velocity and time taken for the corresponding block movement. So this question is compulsory available in part B 16 months. Or otherwise option charge will be in terms of bullets. For example, they will give in terms of bullets, the bullet starts moving from one place to another place. Or then we are going to throw a stone in terms of mass. So they will give in terms of mass or in terms of stones or in terms of bullets. They ask you to find out the impulse, impulse force or velocity or displacement for the corresponding uh, corresponding distributor. Okay. So the option A will be in terms of block diagram, the option B will, will be in terms of some other particles. It starts moving from one place to another place. Okay. So this is uh, so this is a uh, part B carries 16 and part A carries 4, so totally it carries 20 months. Okay, so these are the repeated questions which is available. If you are strong in this block, you can uh, you can take 16 months. If you are strong in this in this problem, with the, by knowing the formula, you can score 16 months. And the next one is unit 5. In unit 5, part A the repeated question is uh, they will ask you about the limited friction, what is limited friction, what is center of rotation, and uh, what is drag friction, what are the types of drag friction which is available and uh, plane motions and impulse force, how to calculate the impulse force and what is the formula for the work done or energy which will be takes place in this corresponding body and next they will ask you to start say about the rolling, what is rolling, what are the different types of rolling which is available and where it is applicable so and so and next one is the coefficient of frictions, defined coefficient of frictions and uh, sometimes they will ask you what is friction, what are the types of frictions is available any one type which will be expressed for you and next the last one is the core question. So these are the major questions, which is, these are the repeated questions which is available. So it, uh, you are going to answer two questions, so two into two, four marks. Okay, so if you are strong in this major area, they will ask from this area only. Okay, and the next in part B, we are going to say uh, the part, uh, in part B, the option A will be in terms of block diagram, the block which will be given. And then we are going to find out the force, acceleration or work and velocity for the corresponding block movement. Or otherwise, in terms of a part block, the option charge will be in terms of roller. So roller problem will be compulsory. In all the question papers, all the services they ask the roller problems. Okay, this is roller problem. So you should be strong in the block or ladder type or in terms of roller. Or sometimes they will ask you the plane, plane body, and they ask you to find out the inclination, and coefficient of friction, and weight for the corresponding uh, plane bodies. Okay. So in part B, the two, the two questions will be asked. The repeated question will be in terms of block. The repeated questions will be in terms of roller. Okay, if you are strong in the block or in the roller type, you can get 16 marks. And if you are strong in this major definitions, you will get 4 marks. So, so totally it carries 20 for this uh, part, unit part, and uh, unit 4 it carries 20. Okay, so, so thank you for watching this.